Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria and for those of you that are old friends and family, welcome back. So as you guys can see, we're doing something that I haven't done in what feels like forever. We're going to be doing a pick a card reading focusing on the thoughts, the heart, the mind of the person who is on your heart and on your mind. We have three different piles to choose from. Let me go ahead and set the intention for clarity and your ability to focus, discernment for the right message for you. Right over the candle, perfect, wonderful. And now the piles for you to choose, I'm setting the intention again that you know which one speaks to you the loudest and this candle is lit right now so she has a lot that she wants to say i'm also setting the intention for your protection and for peace and for love over you and all of your relationships so the first pile to choose from is my love spell oil this can be found within the apothecary their hand made by me always same same recipe same ritual that I've used for years that have helped people to draw in love or magnetize magnetize love like radiate the feeling the vibration of love something that every single one of us has but sometimes when we get caught in our mind and our thoughts we separate from the vibration of love and that's human for the second pile we have follow me boy intention oil now this oil is specifically for drawing and enticing in a specific person in your life you would most likely know this person it doesn't have to be a boy it could be anyone so that is the follow me boy intention oil the third message is from the money and abundance intention oil and of course this oil is for attracting security financial abundance resources but when it comes to love and relationships i like to see tangible evidence of things if i'm working with the money and abundance intention oil but most people use it for drawing in resources money and security for themselves think of it as the king of pentacles type of energy here okay so i'm gonna give you a moment to again vibe with the energies and flow there is no right or wrong I'll let your intuition guide you and then i'll meet you at your timestamp. and all of the cards that it is i'm using will absolutely be linked down below all right my love so if you chose the love spell aphrodisiac for attraction beauty magnetism passion and desire this is your reading what they are thinking about you what are they feeling about you let's go into their minds first i have two decks sandwiched here together well actually more than one card which is interesting so if you're wondering why this deck is so large it's because there's two of them together okay definitely this card what are their thoughts the person that's on your mind what are they thinking? What are their thoughts? Where's their head at? And then when it comes to their heart, what is their heart feeling? Okay, let's go with, ooh, it's wild that that card, that the candle just started crackling like that because as I was um, connecting with this energy, I actually felt um, like chitter chatter, like people talking or someone talking about you. They may be talking about you. It doesn't necessarily feel negative. It feels more curious. Or if there's something new that is happening in your life, they're they're chit-chatting about it and people are curious to hear more information or see how things unfold. So this is either giving newness in this connection or in this chapter in you guys' relationship. 
either way, this doesn't feel malicious or gossipy. It feels more like, oh yeah, this is what we're doing. This is what we have. This is what's going on. Um, it could be something as simple as like you have a job offer or something that you're excited about and that this person is spreading the news about you. Let's go ahead and look at their thoughts, what they think about you. I feel like there's more than one person involved in the situation, but it's not giving third party. It's giving more like friends and connection and community around. So their thoughts, they have nine of swords, ace of cups, ace of cups, page of pentacles, queen of wands. The first thing that's standing out to me is a, a subconscious fear that you are going to, you are they are going to, it's a subconscious fear that that this new chapter or this newness in your life, because you have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Again, this is something that is brand new, opening up, awakening in your life. It, and it's it's exciting. It it's, seems promising. It's um, like almost, I don't wanna say intimidating, but this person almost feels like a little nervous that this may change um, the dynamic between the two of you or that you might not have enough time for them or the feelings might change, things may change, or things may evolve with any type of newness. They're kind of concerned about, it's almost like they want, like they're happy to see you independent and doing something for yourself or that they're doing something for themselves, but they wonder about where that independence is going to lead, but they wouldn't stop you from venturing into this new chapter, into the great beyond. They just have a fear, a natural fear here, nine of swords of like, what, what, what will happen? What's going to happen? Um, for someone here, this, the, there's a connection here that's concerned about feelings changing, about attraction. If you are leveling up in your career or if you're moving or if you're doing something fresh and new, you may feel like there may be a fear here of um, ab abandoning your past or not having interest in that person in the same way. Um, this may also, if this is a friendship, this energy is someone who has something new in their life, like a new job, a new opportunity, a new, like, op like new something new um, that has has is drawing their attention and that they're excited about, and you may have they may sense or they may feel that there's this fear that the relationship is going to change in some way, but at the same time, they're very excited for you. There's a feeling, a sense of, of, of ambition and the feeling of accomplishment. The word is accomplishment that just came through. Let's look at their heart here. The Knight of Cups, yeah, there's a nostalgia here. The Death card, yes, that's what I'm saying. Emotionally, there's a, a t um, a feeling here of fear of change, fear of how this relationship will change, fear of transition, fear of distance, not being attracted anymore. Yeah, the, the, the candle just popped again. Yep, seven of swords, not being able to see them, Hierophant, things are gonna change. They, in their heart, they feel a, a, a dread of change. They feel weepy, they feel clingy. There might be a clinginess here I just heard the word drought, so it could be in a place where you were once like abundance of friendship and laughter and joy and connection and intimacy. Now they're worried that that's going to be pulled away from them. It's gonna be, yep, pulled away from them. If you ever hear me repeating, it's because I'm hearing it as, you know, the guides speak to me about it. So I just kind of repeat. Let's see if there's any other additional messages here. Prudence, don't be lured by the siren song and chance. Allow the sea to wash its chest of wonders ashore. You never know what the tide may bring. And determination, don't be afraid of the rising tide. It will soon recede, yeah. Take the helm is at the very bottom. Be in control of your own ship. So what this is saying right now is again, there's some type of, um, it, the, in this, in this deck, these uh, oracle messages, she says, don't be lured by the siren song. So there's a song that either you are hearing or a message or something new that 
is calling you into a bigger chapter in your life, into a new chapter into your life, into a new season. This could be something as simple and quick as going on a vacation and not being able to go on the vacation together and wondering, like being happy for that person going on vacation but also feeling sad, like I'm not gonna be with you on this trip, on this journey, and trusting but also feeling like you're missing out and having like a little bit of dread underneath it too. And I think that that's very natural. I don't get anything from this pile that feels negative. It feels like natural fear and concern. I, I, I understand that. With the word chance here, it says, allow the sea to wash its chest of wonders ashore. You never know what the tide may bring. And that's something here that um, this relationship, I think that there might be some validity to what this person is sensing and feeling um things may change the relationship may change i can shuffle about this a little further and see what what um where things are gonna end up and where things will head things may change um but that doesn't that that shouldn't keep us in the same place that shouldn't keep us in the same position we have to take opportunities, especially if the universe is bring, bringing them you know, to us. Yeah, 10 of cups is the card of happiness and joy. I also want to say um, loyalty, believe it or not. So someone here might need to hear about loyalty. Yeah, and strength is about conviction and staying strong and true. Um, even if there is any type of things that might be luring, if luring that may feel like a threat or a lure to the relationship, like luring the person away from the relationship. If you are concerned about loyalty within a person, I, I wouldn't be. I think that this is a connection that it's from the, from the looks of it. And of course, this isn't a personal reading, so this is what I can see right now. From the looks of it, it doesn't seem like you have a whole lot to fear um, if you guys are in a relationship. If, you, if you're single, um, it, okay, I'll put it this way. If you're single, if this is about a relationship and this person is notorious for mingling like being a butterfly and going from flower to flower then that's what you can expect of that person basically what spirit is showing me is that how you know this person to be or what they say that they will do like how you know them how their reputation is is what will be if they have a, a bad reputation then that's what you can expect um from them but if you have if they have a good reputation of being someone that is trustworthy and just you know, um, someone that you can count on, then you don't have to worry about that. There is a sense, if this has to do with friendships, there's a, a little bit of flakiness with this person that they may, um, that if they drop the ball, it doesn't seem intentional. They do seem like a good friend. They just seem easily distracted and excited by the changes that are going on in, in their life. If this is your life with this new chapter, this new venture, this new wherever you're whatever you're doing whatever is just entered into your life or whatever it is that you're chasing and pursuing this person is someone that will be a tried and true friendship for the, for now i don't know because I, I do get a, a little sense of flakiness it doesn't feel like the friendship will fall apart it just seems that if you if there if there is a lot of change, then I think that that's natural. It's a net, it's sometimes things do change. You know, the relationship does kind of shift, um, and I think that's where this person can kind of sense this feeling of like I don't want to lose you. You know, I don't want to lose our friendship. I don't want to lose us. I don't want to lose what we have. I don't want our feelings to change. You know, so that's that's there. That's definitely here. Let's look at the next few cards. We have, wow, fellow travelers, support is all around you. So that's really perfect too, because that's exactly what it is that I'm sensing, is a sense of support. Uh, this, I just heard the word, um, words, the relationship is established, meaning that the foundation of this connection or the foundation of what you guys have is solid enough that it doesn't need to be a perfect relationship. It will serve, it will do 
this person will be as good to you as <clears throat> as you can expect them to be like I hope I hope that makes sense they they feel supportive they they want you to support them if you are if this is a separation right because this is giving like people who separate and are still able to maintain friendship and are still able to be friends and still able to be happy for the person but also kind of sad underneath like damn like it just sucks you know so this the energy is very like i'm gonna do what's best for us like i'm gonna do what's best for me and that that means like what's best for us is me doing what's best for me and i'm gonna come here and then i'll come back we'll talk you know there seems to be like some type of arrangement here yeah the giraffe spirit see the bigger picture and love is all around so with the bigger picture and love is all around this is giving always um when you look at the relationship the connection from taking a step back you'll see that there's so many examples of love and support that radiate off of this connection. I wanna tell you that for someone here, if there is like a separation or a split that is happening or that has happened, this person has a sense of like we're better off. If this is someone who's, already, if you guys have split already, this is someone whose feelings are we're better off single like we're better off separated um like this is good for us so if you are someone who is separated and wishing for things to come back together i don't this is not um a, a positive sign of like things m merging together this is like no this is good for us like you go and do what you have to do i'm excited for you i'm excited for me this is not giving like oh, I'm going to find someone the next day if that's something that is concerning you. Because I don't think that that person, that's not this person's attention. It's more about like enjoying life and finding peace and like not making sure that there's no bad feelings. And sometimes that can be tough, especially if you don't want to split, you know. But there is definitely, with love is all around, there's definitely signs of more support, more more things like this might be someone who travels after a split or a breakup outside of that it just seems like people are focusing in their own little bubble instead of focusing aggressively on each other and that's healthy the next card we have is cockatiel listen this is so beautiful because for there's a there is this overarching message about sometimes the right thing to do and sometimes where you're being called is away from the people that is that you love and care the most if i wish that in my own life i could carry some of my friendships and my family in my pocket in my relationship in my pocket i wish i can carry carry them with me forever and so close in my pocket but and look at that 333 right on the alarm right now but um or on the clock but that's not realistic and it's also not healthy so there's this overarching message that is i'm getting and i might do another follow-up pick a card reading about this about this next venture and i want to say that this pile is giving a lot of independent you're going this way i'm going this way and we will come back together i want the what's best for us i want what's best for me i want what's best for you and and this is where we're at and it seems very positive if this is something that goes bigger this is to me this unpacks a divine plan like a bigger plan for your life right that extends beyond the relationship that sometimes staying close too close tight together can stop you from going on adventure from seeing the sights from exploring new friendships to growth, discovery, self-discovery. So I just want to say that with this card, listen, I do see this listening to the universe's plan, listening to your angels and your guides, listening to your ancestors and following how they're inspiring you to, to chase, to pursue your joy. And wherever that path leads you, it seems 
very promising from where it is that I sit. Remember at the very beginning of this reading, I got this sense of like exciting chitter chatter about what is going on in both of you guys' lives. Maybe it seems like both of you guys have exciting things or new newness that is happening, like a new chapter that's opening, a new job, a new trap, like a new place to visit, like new new trips to go on, new things to explore. And I, what I love is that you have the confidence to see the sights for yourself. And that's what, in addition to what is on the mind and the thoughts, like the thoughts in the heart of this person, there's this overarching message of this is so exciting. Like this is so exciting where you're going and change is inevitable, but this is promising. All of this will be promising. When it comes to listen, first there might also be a, a need to listen to the, the to ask uh, to hear the person's inner thoughts, um, especially if there's someone who don't share them quickly or easily. And I do wanna say that this candle has gotten very, very quiet while I've been um, shuffling the cards for you. And I think that this is something someone could say if they were asked to be open about their feelings or if there's something that you need to say to get off your chest, maybe not necessarily to that person, but to a journal, you know, just getting the, getting it out, kind of talking about your fears or listening to others' fears about um, abandonment and, and the resistance to change that is natural, that we can feel. Wow. The last card is from the Divine Feminine Oracle. And the, the, the goddess that you chose is actually Diana. And she is so connected to the moon and the changes of the moon. And again, this is so funny because there's this overarching message about change. Thing changes natural, change is inevitable, just like the moon ch changes from full to new to waning to waxing. This is the nature of life that we experience. We change, life changes, situations change, our feelings change, and that's to be expected. We don't wanna fight that natural process. So her card says, the queen of the wilderness, the language of the natural world is a frequency of love. This is my mother tongue. So this is something too that I'm seeing just absolutely being activated within the relationship and within you, both of you guys separately, is you are running to the beat of your own drummer, dancing to the, the, the beat of your own drummer. You are wild woman enchanted, howling at the moon. And this is encouraged greatly by the universe. And sometimes you just need to be that goddess energy that runs with the wolves and does your thing and is fully expressive without having to consider the thoughts and feelings of another human, another human being. And likewise, they should be doing the same thing. So with this card too at the very bottom, take the helm, be in control of your own ship. Again, there's this focus on doing what you have to do for you right now and knowing that the relationship will evolve in the way that it should and it's natural to fear change. Change is inevitable. It's a part of the journey, but when you look back and see the bigger picture, you're gonna see how great this was for the two of you. And you'll have to let me know down in the comments exactly what this is. Is this a new job? Um, is this new, Are you? did you guys have a breakup and you're splitting with happiness, like with good feeling, positive intention towards each other? Is this um, them just going to the gym and you deciding that, you know, you're the better fit for you is yoga? <laughs> very, very curious, let me know down in the comments. Also, um, I will pin all of the cards that it is that I'm using here, the candles, the oils for the apothecary will be listed down below, as well as the links for Bahati Love Notes, which is um, extended readings, etc., etc., that you can receive for $15 a month, and there's a coupon code so you can get it for $5 a month, okay? 
So I'm sending you guys all of my love. Thank you so much for vibing with me. I hope this resonates. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Moving on to the follow me boy intention oil message. All right, my loves, if you chose the follow me boy intention oil, this is your message. So I'm using two decks here from the Mermaid Tarot. All the decks that I'm using will be linked down below. So if you're wondering how this deck is so large, it's because again, there's two of them together in one. And we're gonna be focusing again on the thoughts and the feelings of the person that is on your mind. The word that I just heard right now is consideration. Have a, I just heard have a little faith in me, this song by Jessica Simpson, so interesting. I'm getting a vision of someone walking around like constantly having headphones on over their ears. They're trying to like muffle out the world or muffle out noise, probably dimming dimming their senses. I don't know if this is an actual physical thing that's, that this person does or that you're doing, or if it's a metaphor. Have a little faith in me. I just keep hearing this song, have a little faith in me. I really want to focus on the heart of this person because it seems like something is bothering them. It's kind of giving, I don't want to say emo vibes, but like um, melancholy, like very in their, in their moody, like in their thoughts and their feelings. It's giving like Pisces full moon. I don't know how else to describe it. It's giving, so maybe they're, they have a Pisces moon Pisces, Sun, Pisces, Venus, Pisces, Mars, but they seem to be very concerned in their emotions right now. Let's go ahead and flip the cards. We have Wheel of Fortune, Ton of Cups, Chariot card, and the Devil. Very, very interesting. This person feels a lot right now. Their, their feelings are very, very intense. Um, Ten of Cups is the card of happiness and joy and hope optimism, fulfillment. They want to feel all of this with you. I can't even tell you how intense this feeling feels right now as I'm sitting with these cards. Um, this person is, if not a romantic, they're head over heels in this situation. Or they, I was going to say that's how they feel towards you, which is tr a chance, but I just see so much emotion. Um, this is and I think it's coming from this other person. This is someone who, wow. So, okay, it, do you remember how I just said like emo, what's giving emo? So back in the day, back in the day, in my day, the, 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 the emo, some of the emo songs, they were so sad and so emotional, so moody, but a lot of times they were about like putting someone on a pedestal and singing about their love and how like the whole world falls away when you're when we're looking at each other you know like and if and if there's a disappointment in love they just come crashing down and this is what i'm sensing <laughs> within this person um an intense swelling of emotion towards you to the point where it's difficult for them to concentrate. Their emotions are almost all-consuming. Very uh, distraction, like distracting, doesn't give this energy justice. It feels very all-consuming. Let me think. Let me see what's going on within their thoughts. What are they thinking? Yeah, Knight of Cups, and this card was reversed. So I'm gonna let it sit that way. Six of Swords. Five of Cups, there it is. I was just like, am I wrong? No, Judgment card. J judgment, Five of Cups, Six of Swords, Knight of Cups. The, this is, a, again, this is giving emo. This is giving someone who 
it feels so much and has so much hope and any type of small sign that things are moving forward makes them feel right with the world again. It concerns me how consumed this person seems to be about feelings, you know, that are could be changed by a, a glance of a person. That it that as someone who's very earth energy, I kind of get nervous about losing your sense of self or like a, a good day can turn into a bad day if a person doesn't text you back type of energy. I, I like to see people more stable within themselves and within their emotions for their own well-being. This person seems like they kind of get pulled under. Um, they may be really wanting a sign or a confirmation of what is being felt is real. They may, again, it's like, I, I'm, it's giving Pisces, Pisces moon, Pisces mercury, Pisces something. Hopefully not Pisces mercury, because sometimes this energy can get really like, I don't say delusional, but um, kind of lost in their thoughts and their thinking and their feelings that they can't see reality. They, they're out of touch. They're floating off the ground. And then if something, which isn't a bad thing when things are going well, but when life happens or it's, you know they don't text back it enough, this person will crash. Like they can feel like the relationship is doomed or how could I let you down? And it's like, oh my goodness, it's okay, you know. This has the potential to open up for, I don't wanna say toxic relationships, but if there's not enough balance, which is not why you're tuning in to this reading right now. So I will leave that part short and sweet and then nip it right off because I'm not gonna you know, tell you what to do. But if there's not enough balance, so much emotion can be engulfing. And yeah, what I would tell you is I think there's a really strong need here to um, choose. This could be hard though with the judgment card to bring clarity to the situation as much as you possibly can. Um, if this is someone who is waiting for your <laughs> waiting for your glance, waiting for you to notice them, I would not revel in how tongue-tied this person is around you. It sometimes it does feel good when someone's just like, oh my God. Um, yeah, this person is at your beck and call. Um, if this is a relationship that does have balance, this person, you mean the world to this person. And I should have probably started off with that, but um, you mean the world to this person. They may watch you kind of suffer through something. Maybe you're not feeling well. Maybe you're sad about something or maybe vice versa. Maybe they're in pain. Maybe they're not feeling their best. Um, they want to move forward with this. It makes them feel sad and powerless. It makes them feel helpless. They wish that they could call and change. They wish that they could change things for the better. Um, but the way that they feel about you, they put they put you on, they think very, very highly of you. This person, I wanna tell you, like they would, if, they're, if you're not married, they would marry you. Um, like you're just 100% their cup of tea. <laughs> I know. It's, it's actually re really beautiful. I'm just concerned. Just a little concerned here about the overwhelming all-consuming feelings that are showing up. Prudence, wow, don't be lured by the siren song. So this is the second time this card came up today. We have choose wisely, be discerning. You don't have to keep everything in your net. The ocean, be beautiful, mystery, mysterious, wild and free. That right there is a message all by itself because I definitely feel the depth of the emotion that this person feels for you, for the relationship, for the connection. Or you may be, this is gonna sound crazy, but you may have, if this is not the reality, you may 
have set, and that's probably maybe why you chose the follow me intention oil, because you you are, have set the intention for that, or you are. I would be careful though um, when working with, you know, drawing something, someone to you, especially with follow me boy intention oil, it works. <laughs> I'll say that. So you want to make sure that you're choosing the right person, that you're not just kind of messing around with someone and their thoughts and their feelings and you are you don't know, especially if they have Pisces placements. I, there's something about Pisces energy and I'm not anti-Pisces uh, people or placements. I'm just keeping it 100 with you right now. So, um, th because you could awaken within them feelings that you didn't know really lay lie within that person and it could be more difficult than you think. Speaking of Pisces energy though, we have the dream card here. Follow your yearning from for the deep blue sea and dreams are all about Pisces rules our dreams and recharge. There's nothing like a walk on the beach to soothe your soul. So and which is so funny too. I just <laughs> I see this need to kind of like disconnect, separate, come together like uh, not, I don't want to say a fresh start because it's not giving fresh start. It's giving validate me. It's giving confirm. It's giving I need reassurance. Not like, oh, we have this new. It's like I need to hear. I need to hear confirmation that you feel the same way. That's the overarching energy here. Okay. If this person is watching you kind of like even with the judgment card here and the five of cups, like let's say you have options, right? Chariot card, the devil card. Let's say you have options. Um, they're fearful. They're really fearful. This would crush them if you chose someone else. On the flip side, you may be waiting, hoping, watching them kind of just ch like choose what they want. Um, and they may be choosing from a lower vibration. And that could be a sign for you to keep in mind how this may have an emotional toll on you. And if it's negatively impacting you, then this is something that we need to recharge and reset ourselves away from. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Okay, now let's look at the cards here. I want to start off with these two, which is so funny that we have both. Okay, wow, wow. <laughs> My goodness, okay, of course. We have Pink Robin, Mystical Powers, giving Pisces again. And then we have Emu, Spiritual Leader, giving Pisces once again. So, very curious if you guys have set intention, work magic, or manifested this person, prayed for this person, and they responded. Um, you may be curious about love spells and little things like that. Um, I feel you, dog. <laughs> I, I do. I remember when I was, this is giving like high school when I was exploring Wicca. I was always uh, spiritual and always working with herbs and um, candles. But I remember when I was in high school, it was the high school that I went to at the time, um, the predominant culture there was more geared to Wicca. So that's when I started exploring um, the concept of like pagan religions, not fully embracing them as my own, but I remember seeing a book about like love spells using roses and stuff, which is funny because that's what is in this candle right now. One of the things, um, I just thought it was so interesting. I, I, well, I think it's interesting now that this image is coming up in my mind. Um, because it's like a simple love spell will do in the situation, which is interesting that you didn't choose the love spell aphrodisiac um, intention oil because it's, I don't want to say basic because basic is not the right way to explain the love spell. It is a simple recipe that has worked really wonderful for light love that can grow into something more over time, or it could be a crush. It's not as intense and all consuming. So like a soulmate love, you know, there's different types of loves that we can attract and receive within our lives, different types of relationships and feelings of love. I wish we had more than one way, more than one word for love to describe all different types of loves that we can feel. So 
Um, that's why I have so many different oils, intention oils, for love and relationships, because not all of them are the same. They all have different vibes, they all have different chemistries and different feelings that they extract out of a person or things that we can extract from the universe and to manifest. But anyway, um, this relationship as a whole seems very like, come to me. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm wondering if you're, if you are someone who is interested in doing a love spell, you know, something really simple, herbs and, um, candle work, something light, desert passage, trust that there is a divine plan. Interesting that that came up. I wasn't expecting that. Desert passage, trust that there's a divine plan. Interesting. Okay. So it's so random, but to me, this is showing extreme. This is the opposite extreme of the depths of the ocean. This is the desert where there is no water at all. Um, I wonder if there's an extreme in this connection. I wonder if there's an extreme in this relationship. I'm really curious. Uh, the dynamic between the two of you guys, you'll definitely have to let me know down in the comments, please. Or email me at info at Bahati Life. Okay, the next card we have is Amaterasu, probably didn't say her name correctly, but it's funny that she's showing up. She's the goddess of light. She says, we're all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. But what is very interesting about her story is that she fell into a pit of depression and sadness. I don't remember why, but it was the overarching emotion that she was feeling that brought her there. She retreated into a cave and the whole world went dark. Everyone was like, where did she go? Where's the light? The, you know, she's the goddess of the light and we're all sitting here in darkness. It wasn't until she heard laughter, like someone kind of tricked her into, they were like laughing outside of the cave and she was like curious, what's so funny? You know, what is so funny? And she <laughs> makes her way to the cave. They have a mirror and the light shone back to her and she saw the profound difference that is that she makes in the world and she vowed to never hide her light from the world again. And that is so beautiful. It reflects the depth of human emotion and how when we are disappointed, when our hearts are crushed, we sometimes can withdraw and say, that is it, that is all. Like, this is the end for me. This is, I'll never love again. And I've, I've felt that before. I, I understand that feeling greatly. Um, I have, and this is so much a message about make, Breaking through, even if there is massive disappointment and sadness um, that you or this person might be feeling in the connection in the relationship. You don't want to let it lure you into the cave where you decide you're never going to come out again. And sometimes the cave is our minds. Sometimes the caves is our home. Sometimes the caves is I'm, you know, choosing like... I'm gonna pull into my heart. I'm never sharing my heart again. I'm I'm never going to. What if they? What if they think terrible of me? What if they hate my light? What if they? Um, but you have to understand again the, the light that you bring, not just physical light when it comes to joy, happiness, and expand like you know optimism and and laughter, but also as a spiritual person. Whenever our hearts get broken, especially Pisces placement type of people, that that the wound is the place where the light enters. That's where we find ourselves um, offering the best of ourselves from a place of, I'm giving this to you unconditionally, not because I want anything in return. And that's, I think, a lot of where this path is coming from. And maybe that's a part of this de desert passage right now that you can't see that, but you will, you will. There's a, a greater plan to all of this, especially if you're experiencing heartache. Take the lead and watch your words, parrot spirit, yeah, and stag. So this is something that you may have or are in, tempted to conjure up in the relationship. Um, but again, there's just another message here about watching your words, watching how you say them, watching what you're saying, watching what you're dredging up. Um, yeah, I see. I also... Um, just got a revision 
of the person who is wearing the headphones over their ears and kind of blocking out the world. So maybe that was what this, that maybe what that's what that metaphor represented too was, you know, noise canceling, like trying to cancel out, trying to block people out and not making connection. I think that's not what you want to do forever. There's times and seasons in our lives where we need that, but there's reconnection on the horizon for you and, and intimacy. Um, I see companionship. The word is companionship, like making sure that you know that you're not going to be alone, isolated, in the cave forever. There's something that's going to bring light into you. But also listen to what you're hearing. L like be very aware, Be use discernment with what you're hearing, with what you're listening to, because that can change a lot. That can change a lot of how you're perceiving um, your current circumstances, okay? So all of the decks that I am using will be linked down below as well as the link to Bahati Love Notes, which is uh, my access to extended readings, a whole plethora of them, an archive <laughs> of extended readings that you can flip through, listen to, read. They're all there on the blog. I will link that down below for you. And um, the links to the oils and the candles that I have that I work with and that I create for intention, for magic, manifestation, all of those things will be listed down below. Okay, until then, my loves, thank you so much for vibing with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye. All right, honeybee, if you chose the money and abundance intention oil, this is your reading. Let's go ahead and shuffle and we'll dive right in. What is on the heart and the mind of the person that is on your heart and mind? I'm working with two different decks. Well, two of the same decks. Um, so this this pile would be seem a lot larger than you you would receive if you were to buy the same deck offline, just FYI. I heard the word, um, like never gonna, like never backing down. I don't know what this is yet. We shall see. This person is very, um, ambitious. Um, there's a, a nod to this person's ambition. That could be a fault of theirs. How could that be a fault? If they don't know when to quit. <laughs> if they don't know when to let up, when they don't know when to take a break. Okay, I'm gonna go into their thoughts first. Let's go ahead and see. Four of Cups, mm. Knight of Pentacles, speaking of consistency, Queen of Swords. Four of Swords, the Tower card reversed. I was not expecting that. Okay, um, yeah, this person seems very business-minded, very focused on what they need to do. Uh, it's interesting that their ambition was the first thing that came through. For me, it's whatever they're focusing on, their goals. Let's say if they're into sports, even if they if they're playing sports, even if they're watch sports, it's it's very it's goal. It, they're competitive, like they are goal driven. They're goal oriented to the point where they may block out other things or you um, because they're hyper focused on what they need to do. I think that. I don't, I'm getting a sense that they, that they can sense that they're maybe be giving you a little, a little less lately, or maybe like not as much attention as you may want or need or deserve. Um, okay, this is so random, but I just got a vision of someone putting 
like assembling Ikea furniture and it's like they're focused on getting the furniture done that they they unintentionally kind of block out you asking them like do you you know what do you want to eat you know and then they just kind of don't answer and it, there's maybe a sense of frustration here but they it's like someone who can't do two things at one time they just hyper focus on what they have what they have to focus on there's a feeling here and it's really interesting there's a feeling here of needing to prove something they may feel like they can't do things right like that may not have anything to do with you but i'm sensing this feeling of internally they have a fear or a belief that they they themselves can't do things right that they have something to prove they have to push they have to prove themselves it makes them blind blind ambitious it makes them if this is someone who's in there they, they, they could be studying they could be focused on a goal if this is someone studying it could be in the medical field where they have very strict expensive tests that they have to take and if they don't pass it it could really mess things up forever and invest a way more time like more time they want to get it right the first time they have something that they need to prove they feel crit criticized um, I don't necessarily feel that this is coming from you, but this is what they feel. They feel criticized. They feel keenly observed and judged if they make a wrong move. I wish that they knew that... I wish that they didn't put so much pressure on themselves. Um, I just want to say that. I just wish that they weren't so harsh on themselves um, that there was more grace that was given to them and that they were receptive to that grace. They may actually not like themselves right now or their situation. That's why they're so focused on changing. Okay, let's go into the heart. Two of Pentacles. The Death card. Three of Wands. Page of Wands. Ten of Wands, yeah, there's again this need to prove. Um, I, it's not giving fear, it's giving insecurity doubt. Fear is not the right word. It's definitely like carrying on all of this weight, burden, feeling, emotion. I don't even think that they may be even in connected to their emotions so they may not not, not, not blah, blah. they may not necessarily feel or or see themselves as emotional but it seems like it's because they're just disconnected from their emotion right now Um, because they're very, very focused. They're laboring. They're, they're laboring through something. Um, there is, there is a spark here, of course, with the Page of Wands of attraction and love, but it feels like, again, they're just so, I, I don't know another way to say it. They're just so focused. Um, I don't know on what, I don't know changing like changing the situation changing things for the better making things but to the point where it almost seems like they're missing some of the more important smaller things like just simply showing up you know i don't but it, and if you were to say something to them this is the type of person that if you would say this to them they would i don't say snap but they would that's when the emotion would show um because they're trying to do all they can to prove themselves um, wow, this is a whole nother, a whole nother, because then it's just like, okay, well, what's now going to happen? Like, this is where I always have to kind of, like, have a boundary with myself, because I will just keep shuffling. I do this all the time with my clients. <sighs> okay, look at, let's look at the oracle. Yep, speaking of focus, oh my god. Wedge, tail, eagle, higher realms. So, again, 
there this is to me just highlighting this laser laser sharp focus and ambition and like I'm going to do this I'm going to catch this it's gonna be done like that if you if you are standing side by side with this person you might feel ignored you might feel complacent like kind of like where's the love where's the spark where's the emotion um this this feels very temporary until whatever this thing completes itself whatever this thing is you know followed through wandering path enjoy the journey literally that's so funny wandering path enjoy the journey that's what spirit believe it or not kind of wants to inspire within this person within this relationship or with it within you is to not spend so much time focusing on changing the situation for whatever the goal is but that you're able to enjoy and begin to add more energy and life to the sparks that lie within the relationship and for both of you because let's say let's say this isn't the other person let's say this is you maybe you guys are mirroring each other and you're like i love this person so much we you know we're just i just want them to do better i want them to give more to me i want them to be more affectionate and there's this hyper focus on what isn't being done that it makes the 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 feeling in the sense i wish you could see this there's two crows sitting right outside my window right now just looking at me i wish you could see it <laughs> they they just landed and they're just like hey you reading tarot if you if you guys are following me on instagram um you'll see i've been like feeding the crows lately so maybe they hear my voice but um anyway yeah, it's, it's, uh, you want to enjoy the journey together and foster this spark a little more. That way, that's the more overarching vibe of this relationship. And you can't be the only one that's doing it. It's got to be both. Like, both people have to want the same thing. We have think on your feet and know your worth. Wow. I wasn't expecting that one either. Think on your feet. This has a lot to do, again, with, like, cunning, like, being, um being intelligent like having a plan having strategy um it may be that you're very much think very much thinking and less feeling right now it may be if you find in this relationship that you want so much more that you feel just separated and pulled away from your partner um i don't want to say that there's not really a whole lot to do like to change this i would understand that this is not you know like my sole responsibility to change this to switch this which is crazy actually oh my gosh i don't even know how i didn't put this two two and two together you pulled the money you chose the money in abundance intention oil this person might be really focused on work i didn't, did not even think about that they might be trying to change the situation for the better but they're so focused on work that they're missing like the actual like coming together intimacy quality time you know affectionate time wow the next card you have is segment the red lady i am pure strength i honor my anger by giving voice to it so this might be you really or you or the other person really needing to express your needs right now really saying that um this is what i need this is what i want and i don't need you to be perfect i just want you to show up or i you don't, this might be something that you say to yourself or to say to your friends, like, I deserve more. Or that, or they're saying that to their friends and their people, I deserve more. They are trying, but it seems like they're missing the mark within that. So it, there's, there needs to be a, a, a way that if you're someone who is, you're just very overly kind, where you just don't ever speak up, you might need to put your foot down a little bit here. Or... Maybe you have already honored your strength and you know yourself, right? Maybe you already know the strength of your voice and what that what that can look like when you're speaking up for yourself. And now it's more about letting go of, of the expectation, allowing someone to do what it is that they're going to do, let the situation relax a little bit so that they can flow and be inspired and that spark can grow instead of them feeling like it's a sense of duty and obligation that they have to show up for you in the way that it is that you've already asked. 
Um, I would set intention in this situation for alignment so that everything is coming from a place of the heart and just f everything is flowing together from the place of the heart. So it's not, it doesn't feel like this uphill battle. Okay. Um, so that's what they're thinking and that's what they're feeling. And I hope that that helped. Um, let me know. I wanted to like keep shuffling and pulling out this and just seeing what the future holds because I don't want to leave you hanging there, but I, that would just, it would just be, why does this card keep jumping out? Oh, look at that magician card. Yeah. Manifestation. Uh, but all of the cards that it is that I am working with will be linked down below as well as the intention oils and the candles and links to Bahati love notes, seven of wands. Yeah. Someone feels like they're going to be like, they just can't relax in the situation or they're just going to get pounced on. Um, not in a good way, <laughs> in a way that's just like, Oh fuck, I dropped the ball again. And now I'm going to hear this, you know? Um, and honestly, if they don't want to give you what you deserve and what you worth, or they're not capable, or they have just so focused on other things, then this is something that you, I would consider just being like, okay, you do you, I, I'm going to do me, you know? Um, but yeah, so, so will be the links to Bahati Love Notes, which is uh, extended readings, not for th these situations specifically, but for energy reads that I do consistently every month. So those links will all be down below as well as where you can find me. Until then, please do give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe because it is a beautiful community that we have here and I'd like to see it grow again. Until then, you guys, I will send you all of my love and I will see you in the next one. Bye.